coach at all about uh, TJ's use over you in uh, the second half yesterday? Uh, no, not really. But um, like I said, I'm I'm all about the team, really. So um, any decision that he made, uh, I'm I'm fine with it. Um, he thought that that was the better decision, and I was I was still there cheering on my teammates, uh, trying to help them stay motivated. So. Uh, after the game, he was talking about the physicality of the game, that being one of the reasons why he went with TJ. What did you see from the physicality, just given the fact you haven't really been there before? It's all new. Um, I mean, obviously, they were very physical. Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think that was like something that we were shocked by. We knew they were going to come out more physical. I mean, that was one of the emphasis they had coming in. So that's all I've really seen, that they, they just came out more more aggressive and more physical. That's something Mm -hmm. that your mind definitely, that? definitely still is. I mean, uh, every time I step on the court, I'm still going to go out there and play my hardest no matter how long I'm out there. I'm going to go out there and be as physical as I can and, and bring my tools that I, I can help this team with. So. It seemed like they picked up pressure along a, a lot the other night. How does that screw up your, or change your timing and the rhythm of your, your sets and whatnot? Um, I think, honestly, I think it can help us a lot because uh, when team pressure, we can just be able to attack and even get to the rim. We have great athletes and we have great shooters, so get to the rim and um, be able to score. I think we just got, uh, we weren't, I don't think we were exactly ready for it at the time it happened, but we adjusted and uh, we started getting better. But it's something that we're definitely going to be ready for next game. How much do you think, um, you know, going forward, it, it's things to be decided based on schematic and what each team does or just like which team has more will? Because it looks like, I know you didn't play in all of them, but all the games between these teams this season, it was like pretty much effort, fight. That was a big theme. For sure. I mean, I think that's always going to be the biggest thing is effort. Uh, that's one of the biggest things you can bring out there and compete because if you got skill and you're out there just relaxing, somebody who's playing with more effort is definitely going to get the, the best out of it. So, I mean, I think it's, it's just a matter of game planning and, and just going out there playing as hard as you can. So, Markel, I know you've only been here for this year, but you've been a big picture. What, if anything, are you guys as a team trying to prove to the league about where you are now versus where you were the last few years? Um, I, I think we're trying to prove that we're sticking in this moment now. We're not worried about the future, about uh, going further next year. We're, we're in the present right now, and we want to go as far as we can this year and, and prove to everybody that we're talented enough to do that. What do you think you guys can anticipate now from taking the series on the road? Um, that it's going to be physical. Uh, we can't really look for calls, and we're going to have to play hard. We know they're going to try to get into us, pressure us. So I think we're going to be well prepared for that. So, What kind of uh, looks was Dwayne Wade giving you? He was guarding you on defense. What, what was he trying to do with you? Uh, I think he was trying to pressure me and then sometimes fall back. But, uh, I mean, it was I wasn't out there a lot to, to, to really – Find out what he's doing, but I think he was he was doing what any vet would do is just try to pressure you and, and and give you different looks. So when you talk about the physicality being different from the Heat, what are they doing that they weren't doing in Game One that other teams weren't doing towards the end of the regular season? Um, I think they're just trying to be more physical, trying to trying to really speed us up and then pressure us full court. Uh, just a lot of things, just just being like. Hit you every time. No, no layups. I mean, that's playoff basketball. That's what the NBA is. So I think they were just doing, doing, doing their best to try to try to get us off our game plan. What do you think you have to show Brett in order for you to get more playing time in the next game? What do you got to correct? Um, just opportunity, really. Uh, I think uh, I have the physicality. I have everything. It's just a matter of if, if he feels comfortable, really. I mean, I'm gonna keep doing everything I'm doing every day, and uh, once I get my opportunity, I'm gonna go out there and show it, and then it goes off that. So well. Express some frustration about him not being able to play last night. Is he kind of the same way with you guys, just frustrated about the situation and wanting to be back? I mean, he's a competitor. I mean, he loves this game so much. And anybody who's a competitor and gets hurt and, and is out there watching your team, I mean, I kind of went through that too, just, just watching your team out there. Uh, of course, you're going to want to be out there, but I mean, they're all going through what's best for him and what's best for the team. And, and he'll be out there when it, when the time's right. Yo, what, do you think, what do you think the biggest difference would be uh, when you do get Joel on the feedback? I mean, obviously you guys had a degree of success without him, but he's been so important to this team. What do you uh, think the biggest difference would be? I mean, everybody knows he's a low post presence who can score at any any given moment. Then on the defensive end, we got somebody else down there who can uh, alter shots and, and have your back once, once you get blown by or, or maybe have a mistake. And then uh, he can stretch the floor, shoot three. So he's just a, a great player that that can go out there and help in, in many different ways. Thanks, Marco. Thank you.